Okay, hi guys. So today what we're going to be doing is a pencil. As you guys saw before, um, I did a crayon, which was a video out first since this one is a little bit more complicated. So let's go ahead and make a new scene. Uh, and then you're going to make a cylinder. I changed my cylinder to be uh, like 40 tall, just since pencils are really tall. You don't have to do it that big, but that's what I did. And then I did, I uh, made the subdivisions height 30, and then go ahead and change the Y to 20 so it's on the ground. There we go. Now you can see it's on the ground. All right, so that's kind of just gonna be um, the length of our pencil. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the three rings it's uh, it's two down from the top. Basically, it's gonna be like the metal part. So these three rings right here, basically. So this top is gonna be the eraser. So in order to make the metal part, go ahead and extrude and then thicken by like 0.1. That way it's just drawn out from the pencil, just like that. Then you're gonna select the bottom six rings, which is gonna end up being our point. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then just go ahead and you can click and drag, super simple. And then uh, what we're gonna do is you're just gonna scale them so that they come to a really small point. See how it comes down to a point at the end there? You can go ahead and zoom in to see how small it's getting. We're gonna end up deleting this cylinder at the bottom, so no sweat if it's there. Go ahead and then just select those guys at the bottom, and then you'll delete these rings. You see how they're super tiny? Go ahead and delete them. All right, so now we have a point, which is good, but you see how there's a hole here? See how it's not filled? Go into edge mode, select that whole ring, and go to um, mesh, and then fill hole. So it just fills it in for us. Very nice. Next, what we're going to want is we're actually going to put like a vertex on that. So um, click, go into face mode, click that face, and then go to edit mesh. And then down here at the bottom is poke. So see how it puts in lines for us? Gives us a little uh, pull. All right, so that's going to be the tip of our pencil. Um, let's go ahead and just, let's select that face again, actually. Let's go into face mode. I want to make that the um, the tip of the pencil go all the way down. So click Q, select all the all the faces in there, making sure you got all those tiny little guys, and then um, just push W and drag all the way down. Just depends how big you want your tip to be, basically. Um, okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the length of it. And then um, now what we're gonna do is, you know how like pencils, the tip of the pencil tends to be kind of like covered by this wrapping of the pencil? What we're gonna do for that is go into face mode, select all of um, the faces except for the tip right here, and extrude them and thicken by 0.1 again. That'll just give it kind of like a wrapping feel to the pencil. There we go. All right, so now you can see it's extended over it. And that'll come in handy when we texture it. Okay, so if you press three on the object, you can see what it's gonna turn out to kind of look like. I don't really like how the tip is doing this. I always imagine it like being like a new pencil so it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't uh, curve like that. So let's just bevel this top edge. Um, if you wanna leave it round, go ahead. I'm gonna do like a point, point 0.2, I think, bevel. And then go into object mode, you can check it out. There we go, I like that a little bit more. I'm also gonna bevel this edge right here. Um, click one to go back and bevel these edges just so the metal actually looks like it's not you know, morphing into the pencil at all. That looks good at 0.5. And then just go ahead and do the bottom one as well. Um, here we go. Two. All right, that looks good. I think I'm gonna do the same for um, down here at the bottom. 
Let's see how this looks when I press three. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and bevel this edge. If you guys don't want to, no sweat. Do whatever you think looks best visually for your project. Um, okay, that looks good. Beveling is super useful, so I highly recommend you guys to use it. I will also be doing like a tutorial on how to texture this. We'll do a little pink eraser and the metal and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that's turning out. Um, if you guys like this tutorial, um, like the video, leave me comments below telling me if I did anything wrong or if you wanted to see something more in detail. But um, yeah, I'm having a ton of fun with these videos because I really love modeling and I, I think it's super cool to um, be able to share it with other people. So if you guys have any, any other ideas of what you want me to model, let me know and maybe I'll, I'll try them out. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.